Get ready. Hey, it's Rakdar, and I'd like to welcome you back to another fantastic episode of uh, uh, Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo Switch. In this episode, as you can see, I've decided to play as Yoshi because Yoshi is honestly just a really good all-around choice. It's got great handling and speed. And here you can see I've equipped the banana peel. Because you see, if you equip and hold the banana instead of uh, dropping it behind you, it can stop an item that gets thrown at you. So, you know, that's why I chose to do that. Then you can see they hit me with that other item that exists in Mario Kart. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, I drift around this corner, and then I use the hot rod, which, as we all know, is the golden mushroom, but everybody calls it the hot rod because, in general, um, you know, when you've got the golden mushroom, you feel like kind of a hot rod, you know, like nothing can stop you, so, like, whenever I'm online playing Mario Kart 64 for the Switch, everyone's always like, oh, shit, that guy's got the, the hot rod, like, he's got it. So then, yeah, I got another banana peel here. We're in lap two. Now, what's crazy about uh, Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo Switch is that on every lap, like, the tracks change. And so this is Panzer Dragoon, which is, everybody knows, like, it's one of Nintendo's, like, most favorite properties. Panzer Dragoon is, like, you go rescue, like, a princess or something. So yeah, this level is based on Panzer Dragoon, you know, so we gotta beat the Bowser, because he, so like, a lot of people don't know this, but Bowser is actually a special breed of something known as a Dragoon. Oh, and here I got, so right here you'll see that I got the Bullet Bill, and using the Bullet Bill, I was able to jump all the way into first place. Now, once you're in first place, you really gotta watch your butthole, because there's like all these blue shots, by the way, I totally jumped off that wave on purpose. That wasn't an accident to dodge that red shell. Like, I dodged that red shell straight up on purpose. Now, here I get the boomerang, but like a lot of people, you know, you gotta re remember that you can throw the boomerang backwards. So I threw the boomerang backwards right there to make sure that I could get uh, Willemus off my tail. Now we all know that Willemus is a really famous um, character from history who's also a Nintendo character. And yeah, it turns out like you can fly in this game. So what I didn't realize is that Nintendo... Now, Diddy Kong Racing was a Nintendo game, but you can totally tell they kind of ripped off Diddy Kong Racing um, when they made this game. Because Nintendo was like, you know what? Diddy Kong Racing did it. It's one of the best games of all times. We can do it too. We can have flying machines. So anyways, I get, as you can see right here, I'm rocking it once again with that boomerang, but I'm going to hold on to the boomerang because you know what? If anybody wants to tempt up to my butt, to my booty, I want to make sure that I've got something to throw back at them. So I don't let people mess with my booty unless they've asked. And in this race, nobody, nobody has asked. So yeah, that's why I just hold on to these snowballs and then I rock this level two drift right into the end where... I get first place as Yoshi, because, you know, uh, Yoshi really likes fruit, and that's why it's a fruit-shaped vehicle. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.